Hey crew, Angel here today, and I got something really cool to show you. I was speaking with one of my customers the other day, and I was like, you know, it's kind of weird. They don't have a, like a monetary copper, one ounce copper like they do in like the one ounce silver form. And he was like, you know what? I think they do. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, I think I have something at home that has some kind of monetary thing on it. So here it is. He brought it in to let me show you. So basically I did a little bit of re research and I was like, all right, Lakota, what's up with that? So I looked <clears throat> and the Lakota is a name that means feeling affection, friendly, united, allied, and they are a Native American tribe. They are the westernmost of the three Sioux language groups that occupy lands in North and South Dakota. The tribe is notable for its members Sitting Bull and crazy whores who led their people during years of resistance to United States government policies. Well, legally, by treaty, they were a semi-autonomous nation within the United States, but in 2007, they withdrew from all the treaties in decision to declare their sovereignty and independence. Following their formal succession, the Free and Independent Nation of Lakota launched the Free Lakota Bank in 2008. So, like, basically, the Lakota tribes were attempting to, uh, to create, like, their own banking system and own, like, bartering system on, on their reservation. But this Free Lakota Bank decided to like jump in on this and so they basically started a banking system which they claimed that to be operating in Pine Ridge on the reservation and they also claim that customers can deposit money and convert it to silver bullion and then they would pay interest rate on the silver when like the money was withdrawn so basically I feel like they like were scamming people and pretending that they were part of the Lakota nation which obviously they weren't because like their website has been taken down and like they were under investigation and they couldn't like really find anything like illegal that they were doing besides the fact that I guess they didn't have like the licenses of like a financial institute but like if they were on like in Native American reservation you know the laws are a little different so basically yeah they they decided to like do some Ponzi scheme type thing or, or something and what's really sad and unfortunate is like they had like commercials and they they got like Native American people like a person to like speak and and all this like heartfelt stuff like on how they were feeling about kind of being screwed by the government and not having like their own monies and stuff so I mean that was unfortunate because then they decided to create these things that say two, but it doesn't say two dollars, so it's like not like two dollars. And they also like created a a silver one that said fifty, but of course it didn't say dollars. Like you see this one, it says two, but it doesn't say dollars. So people just like assumed that oh, this is monetary. So I mean, technically, this stuff wasn't monetary. And technically, you know, the bank was riding on, on that fact. So, I mean, that really sucks. But these are some really pretty coins or rounds or whatever they are. And I don't know. They're just really cool. I kind of wish that I, like, I had a silver one. I feel like I had a silver one before. But I just didn't know nothing about it, and I didn't think to, like, look it up, because I just thought, oh, yeah, it's just, like, some round made by somebody. But in actuality, it was a round made by somebody, but it was, like, some bank or 
financial institute that was basically scamming people. So, you know, if you want to see more like this, or if you, if you just want to, like, look into this yourself, I know it, it seems like there's, like, a lot of more, like, sketchy information that you could find if you want to look for yourself. But I just wanted to, like, show this and... And I just wanted to figure out, hey, you know, what is this? Why does it say two on it? And I did. And hopefully I explained it to you a little bit. And <laughs> hopefully I didn't confuse you too much. Maybe I confused myself. I don't know. But hey, you know, if you want to see more videos like this. Or if you, if you just want to, like, look into this yourself. I know it, it seems like... There's like a lot of more like sketchy information that you could find if you supposedly, you know, to do with them and their and and their free nation. Yeah. So basically, it's pretty interesting that people try to jump on the train and pretend that they were with the Indian reservation that was trying to have like their own monies and stuff. And they, like, created this. But, I mean, yeah. A lot of people jumped on it because they don't trust trust the government. They don't trust the bank. So, they're like, you know, what better to do than have a bank where your money is all in silver. And you're getting paid interest. Like, the more monies you keep in the bank, you're getting paid interest in silver. And they're charging you in silver. And... But anywho, I just thought I'd let you know about this. Some Lakota bank tried to scam people because of their faith in silver. So if you like this, you want to see more stuff like this. So if you want to see more stuff like this, if you like something like this, give me a likey likey. And if you have something to say about it, give me a comment below. So... I guess I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.